Hi, my name is Arius, and I'm back. That's right, we survived New York City. And it was pretty crazy. But you know what I'm ready for? Ready for some arena time. Like, just no beating around the bush, just hitting this fight button. Spam it, because it's been a while. It's been a while, man. Like, oh, I can't even imagine. Like, um, my thumbs got like the calluses on my thumbs. You know, they got they got soft. So I gotta get Ooh, back in everyone. here and you know make my way up the arena chain again because it's What's been too step? long. So to all the people, I gotta climb over. You know, level Ready. 38 in front of me. Sorry, right. my friend. No hard feelings. We're just going because we're here to play some games. You know? Yeah. It, it was a crazy long trip. I mean, it, we we see what we do. We left last Saturday. We started in in DC. You know. Um, oh, I gotta check my sound levels. How do these look? Uh, there's that. Ready. What about. Okay, that's okay too. Yeah, it looks like they're good. Uh, anyway, we started in DC, you know, checked out the monuments and stuff. And then, uh, after that, I took, uh, took the train up to New York, stayed in Manhattan. That was pretty cool. You know, saw all the sights, saw some shows, and, you know, saw some bums, you know, facing people while they're walking by, just walking by, and... They're just zip, taking a piss, not even facing away from people, just like facing people and taking a piss in a cup. Like, uh, what are you going to do with that, buddy? So I'm like, yo, oh. grab Mrs. Arius. She grabbed little Miss Arius and then, you know. Delix was just like, yeah, let's go. Uh, I'm pretty sure that dude was going to throw some pee on somebody, man. That would be great. Um, so, yeah, we didn't get peed on or, or, or pissed thrown at us. Um, got to do all our shopping, see all the sights, breathe all that yummy, delicious air. Oh, my goodness. Like, you know, you thought New York air was bad before. Uh, Try adding a little bit of, you know, Canada wildfires and Northern American wildfires and all the other fire wilds, whatever, man. There was a lot. Welcome there was a lot. So, arena. yeah, that was fun. Um, it was weird having to put on a mask to go outside. Yeah, that was crazy. Um, but otherwise, it was a good trip. That was fun. Um, got to, you know, I think my most memorable part of the trip was uh, taking an e-bike and just shredding through Central Park, man. That was cool. That was cool. Um, it was even cool Fight. when, you know, everybody else was like, yo, <laughs> e-bikes are pretty cool. Truth and, and uh, you know, I, yeah, kind of old school, right? Like, you know, I'm one of those guys that I see the e-biker taking that e-bike up the hill and then like getting the shred down it and it's like you know without having to do any of the work and the, you know i feel a little bit like yo man you gotta, you gotta put in the work to appreciate the journey down but hey you know what some people can't make it up there and hey that's cool too right you know like accessibility to everyone but uh as for me my flavor of life is, you know, this is my preference. Not everybody likes Welcome it spicy, but uh, yeah, I like it spicy. Arena. I like to, uh, you know, manually work my fat butt. Yeah, I said fat butt, dude. I gained like maybe 12 pounds on this trip. Just Ready. eating. Oh man, eating. There's, there's some good food out there. I tell you what. And, uh, that's, that's it, man. Um, what else? What else did we do? Pretty much vomited a bunch of money, <laughs> you know. Uh, kids buying their their boutique store stuff, and uh, all right, I'll tell you what here. Bounce already. Oh, 
I'll be right back. Let's, let's clear this. Let's get set up for the next one. All right. So, uh, well, I went to Chinatown, and, you know, I, I like trinkets. And um, if you all were kind of following, you know, I posted a bit about uh, my everyday carry wrist knife. It's gone. <laughs> yeah. <clears throat> it was kind of a an exercise in our nation's security. To, to see, you know, how far could I take a concealed weapon <laughs> through uh, government security? And uh, I'll tell you where I was able to take Ready. it. You know, um, everywhere. Uh, not on the plane, obviously. I'm talking about... <coughs> Excuse me. What a struggle. Ugh. That was, like, stuck in there. I'm talking about, like... Uh, Obviously, yeah, like I was saying, not on the plane. Um, like, uh, it, just look when you get off the plane. You know? Yeah, I had to mute out on that one because, oh, that air is still kind of stuck in there. But anyway, um, just walking around New York, right? I, I was Ready. able to take it through a few places where I kind of thought I wasn't supposed to. Um, or not just New York, actually. Like I said, D.C. You know, started there. And it's like... Uh, I went through all the money. They had security at all of them. I was wearing the wrist knife. And, you know, nobody said anything. So, I was like, oh, okay, cool. Um, and then, I think uh, what... What got it was, you know, I went all the way up into New York and then getting on the uh, the Liberty, getting on the, the, the ferry to go see the Statue of Liberty. That's where the dude was like, yeah, you could have knives, but that one on your wrist is considered a concealed weapon. And that's like a no, no. So that's where it got jacked. So I told the dude who was, who was confiscating, I was like, yo, man. I actually trained uh, how to use that knife. Like I was like, yeah, for reals. Like I was wondering, what do you do with this little knife? And I'm like, hey man, I show you. So, you know, if you remember, it's like a wrist knife, little blade, but you hold it like this, and then you basically hit people with thrust punches. Ready. And while you're holding it, um, if you know kung fu strikes, it's kind of like a poison thumb hold. So if you're if you're using poison thumb, boom, that's how you hold it. Blade sticks out right over the thumb, and it's like a poison thumb strike, basically. Uh, and the guy's just like, yo, that's sick. I'm like, hey, man, take care of that knife. I showed you how to use it. And he was like, dude, I totally will. So <laughs> that would be the, the second weapon to get jacked from security. The first one was the uh, translucent Ready. nunchucks, which I did replace. Because, man, I love those things. In any case, uh, there's another security guard Super. out there. It's got some pretty rad translucent nunchucks, you know. Um, <laughs> let's see. Uh, Delix, the gamer, bought a cool sword. Um, ooh, ooh! I forgot. I bought a rope dart. Um, if you don't know what a rope dart is, just think uh, Mortal Kombat and yeah, Scorpion. Get over here! <laughs> You know, um, he also uses that technique when, you know, like some, some, some of the girls are trying to bother him, you know, like, cause dude, he's actually a really good looking guy, right? Scorpion's really good looking and, and, and the ladies, man, they just can't stay away from him. So sometimes he's like, get over there. And you know, especially the ugly ones. Man, can I say that? Like, yeah, the ugly ones. He's like, dude, not get over here. He's like, get over there. Uh, Farron, ready, set. Hey, ready. I like that people are nice. discovering that the bone shaver from the quests is actually really good. It's a good way to get a dragon bone sword really early in the game. Like as early, I've seen people get it as early as level 30. Uh, it's a it's a reward to quest line. I forget what the minimum requirement ready. is. Maybe I, I could be wrong. Maybe nice. it's a little bit higher than 30, but in any case, if you get that dragon bone longsword really early in the game, pretty cool. 
Uh, this cool. is um, history, folks. So you're, you're probably wondering, like, dude, what are you doing, man? It's like, hey, uh, I, I've been away from, you know, I mean, I played a little bit of Blades uh, out there in, in New York. You know, I posted a little bit of uh, the Collector doing some PvP, which I do got a little surprise for you guys. Um, this video has been in the making for a while. I mean, the idea was, but uh, actually executing on it. And not this video, a different video, the future Welcome video everyone. I'm talking about. But anyway, uh, something for you guys coming up in the works. I remember somebody in Discord, I, can't, I don't remember who it was, but they posted uh, a, 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 a picture of somebody in the top spot. Like, in PvP, number one, you know, set to be grand champion, right? And they were like level five. And everyone was just freaking like, dude, how did they do that? And I'm sure there's a lot of you out there that know how they did it. You know, there is. I'm sure a lot of you know how they did it. Um, but for those of you that don't, I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go and do it the same way that they did. Uh, but it's, it's gonna take some setup. You know, I gotta make the characters. And uh, so that's coming. Don't worry. That's coming. That'll be fun. Uh, what else is coming up? Well, let's see. Coming up is, oh, Nomads are going back out. Yep, we're taking it out to the airsoft fields, do some more training, getting ready, you know, to fight Jigglelag and his AI army, you know, when they get here. Because uh, you never know Welcome when they're going to go. The we got to be ready. Right, Henry? Boom. I like your hat. Henry, I love your hat. Love your Ready? hat so much, Henry. Fine. Well, hey, I gotta say something. We, got, we just gotta go. Like, oh! Think, think. Amazing. It's like yellow. Chocolatey, kind of like Snickers. Used to call it O. Henry. Uh, it's like an official candy bar. Dude, I could use an O. Henry right now. Ready. Like, for real, man. Fight! Oh, what did I eat in New York? A lot of Asian food. Definitely a lot of Asian food. Um, what else? I had a Philly. <laughs> I had a legit New York Philly. Oh, uh, you know, it wasn't a Philly from, you know, from Philadelphia. But I had a Philly. Like, like it was close. And, dude, it was pretty good. Like, what can I say that was different? Like, we got, we got Philly shops out here. And what was it different? The bread. It, it was almost like a bagel. You know, it's kind of like tough on the outside, but then a little chewy on the inside. Man, meat. Very, very juicy. Um, you know, fried uh, on this on the skillet, you know, on the skillet top. Uh, Welcome. Mushrooms, Everyone. you know, works. And dude, yeah, I had them throw the cheese whiz on it. You know, like it's processed. It's not good for you, but I figured, Ready. you know what? Let's do it that way. Let's right. pop the cheese whiz on there. And you know, it, it was pretty darn delicious. It was pretty darn delicious. Dude, rummish. That is firepower. Ooh, wow. Grumsh. Grumsh. Yo, you're dangerous, bro. <laughs> I got to actually pay attention here uh yeah let's go let's go oh 49 someone up and up and coming Ready. he's got a daedric longsword nice. fire uh, that could be the lich slayer you know? oh i messed that up timing wise oh, we're just gonna go right to i gotta block something get to the fire get to the and brimstone yo where's my heart Blink. All right, let's keep going. Um. Oh, chicken and waffles at, at like 11 at night. That was pretty cool. Uh, the place was called Chicken and Waffles. Um, definitely had to hit up the Jolly Bee. You know, you know would I be representing? You know, I gotta get up the the, the Jolly Bee, Angle Pie. Um, the spaghetti is like, I, I can't. Can't get over sweet spaghetti. Just can't. Um, 
yeah it's just weird but dude the gravy jolly bean i, I just gotta say man there ain't nothing planet like it and, and some of you don't know the concept it's like rice chicken uh spaghetti fried chicken yeah spaghetti yeah it could all be in one meal or you know separately whatever right Ready. Good stuff, good stuff. The spaghetti, no. I mean, not for me, but my, the rest, the rest of my peeps like it. They like that spaghetti. You know, it, it, it's what loves. Bagels, dude. All right, so found this this uh, deli spot across from our hotel. Had, like, massive amounts of variety of cheese, like cream cheese, you know, like made in house and stuff. Like, you see them mixing the, the ingredients and the cheese there. Crazy. Like, it was delicious. I had like this lox bill cream cheese on a regular New York bagel. You know, it's, I get it now. I get what they mean by New York bagel. It's like, it's like a New Yorker, you know, it's like, it's like crunchy on the outside, but you know, big softy on the inside. Still tough and chewy. Uh, I get it, man. You just gotta be there to get it. So yeah, we got to Frozen. I don't like staying in Frozen too long. It's too cold. You, know, you see what Arius is wearing right now. Dude. We got like almost nothing on. Uh, but that's pretty much it. Hope you guys liked the update. And uh, we're gonna we're gonna be back. We're gonna be making more stuff. Um, I'm gonna be making some more shorts on advanced techniques just to you know help out folks who are still having trouble out there and to help some of you who don't know about some i mean i know a lot of you know this stuff right i'm just sharing stuff that was shared with me in case someone out there you know doesn't know and uh i forgot to talk about this the next giveaway and the next live show uh i still got i still got the airsoft gun you know, I, I thought about this. I thought about this long and hard. And I was like, you know, there could be people who aren't interested in that. And they don't want to participate because they don't want to win that particular prize. So I've got different prizes. I've got, uh, I got some cool stuff from Chinatown. Uh, so you may remember, uh, Nike stickers, you know, these are pretty cool uh, from the official New York Nike store. So they've got like you know, the New York City logo on there. Boom. And I've got one sheet of these. Uh, you know, I got four of these. Uh, it comes with four sheets, but hey, I got to keep three of them, you know. And I'm going to give one away because I like you guys. So sticker sheet from the official Nike store. Uh, I got some Pokemon bubblegum from the Daiso or the Miniso store, you know, whatever, where they sell anime cute stuff. So I've got, yeah, Pokemon gum with a, you know, it's Pikachu, I know that. I don't know who this other dude is. I'm not that, you know, I'm not that uh, knowledgeable, but I know this is strawberry flavor. Yeah, unopened, I, you know, I was tempted, but yeah. And then last thing, Coolest trinket I found in Chinatown was this dragon ring, dude. Look at that. Look at that. Oh, look at the detail. Look at how that those eyes just kind of stare at you. Uh huh. Yeah. We giving those away on the next live show. So stay tuned, my friends. Stay rad. I'm out. Peace.